Hi there, I'm KL and this is my mom. I might be the crafty one in the family, but she's definitely the chef. Mom doesn't speak English, but she wants to share her love of food to you guys. So for her cooking series, I'll just be her voice while she shows you the skills. And today we will be making delicious Jia Thailand. In the Vietnamese culture, we don't have cakes or cupcakes or cookies for dessert. We indulge in jia, which is a sweet soup or pudding. So jia talang is my all-time favorite out of all the desserts because it's mostly fruit and jello. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the ingredients. First up, you'll need canned lychee, and it has to be canned because we need the juice that is in it. The next fruit is a jackfruit, and if you can't get fresh ones, you can surely use the canned ones. That works out just fine. The last thing in the can that you'll need is some water chestnuts. Now you'll also need some tapioca starch, half and half milk, red food coloring or any color of choice, and gelatin mix flavored or non-flavored. Okay, so we're gonna work on the red layer of this dessert. We're gonna drain the water chestnuts and we're going to lightly wash them. Now you're going to cut them into cubes and my mom likes to cut them into little discs and then she stacks them up to cut them into strands and then she rotates it to cut them into cubes. So she dabs a paper towel over the tiny cubes to help them dry faster. The drier the chestnuts, the better it will turn out. With her food coloring, she colors the chestnuts until it is a bright red. Make sure to not overcolor so that it's dripping. Just add in a little bit at a time while you're mixing. Now you're going to add in about an eighth of a cup of tapioca starch. You might have to adjust the amount because the chestnuts, sometimes they react a little bit differently. So what you want to do is make sure that each little cube is coated with the starch and that little to no red is showing through without having a bunch of the flour puddling at the base of the bowl. So next, you're going to have a small pot of water boiling and then you're going to sift all of the loose starch from the water chestnuts and then dump them into the boiling water. It's really important to keep the little cubes moving around in the pot while it's cooking because you don't want them to stick to each other. And it takes around 5 to 10 minutes to cook these bad boys. A good indicator is when you see the starch turn into a translucent color and then you can really see the bright color of the chestnuts underneath that. Next, you're going to get a bowl full of ice water ready and then you're going to drop them into the bowl so that the starch stops cooking. You're going to stir it around a little bit just to make sure that they don't end up sticking together like a big glob and then you're going to leave it in water until you are ready to serve. So now for the jello, just follow the instructions on the back of the packaging and use maybe a quarter cup less water. This helps create a really solid jello which is used quite often in Vietnamese jia. You can check out my mom's coconut jello video and see how she likes to prep her jello over there. Okay, so once the gelatin starts boiling, you're gonna take it immediately off the stove and pour it into a mold or any kind of bowl that you have laying around. It's better to pour in only an inch, this way it solidifies a lot faster. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this aside and just do some prep work. And here she's opening her jackfruit, removing the seeds, and then she also removes the flesh away from the casing. And when you buy it in a can, all of that is already done for you, you just gotta drain out the water. Next, she cuts them up into little strands and she sets that aside. Time for the lychee. Since we need to use the juice from the can, she went ahead and dumped it into a bowl and starts cutting the lychee into halves and then putting it back into the bowl. If you're using canned jackfruit, you can go ahead and just add that juice into the lychee juice as well. So now time for the jello. Once that hardens up, she cuts it into little strands and this is her special jello cutting knife. Uh, it creates little zigzags into the strands. Really, it's just for looks. You don't need this spiffy tool. So we're gonna go ahead and set the jello aside. So now it's finally time to put everything together. She drains the chestnuts from its ice bath and then she scoops a small amount into a glass. Next, a layer of lychee and the lychee juice in the cup. Now a layer of jackfruit and the jackfruit juice if you have it from the can. And then lastly, a layer of jello. 
You can easily stop here for a single serving, but this cup is really tall, so just for the purpose of this cup, we're gonna just keep layering it on. And to really finish it off and add in some creaminess into this dessert, you can top it off with some half and half milk. So after admiring how pretty your cup looks, you can mix everything up and just dive in. So this is a perfect concoction of sweet, creamy goodness and there are so many interesting layers to go through that you won't get bored of the dessert. And I hope you guys enjoy my most favorite dessert. Support my mom by liking and subscribing. And we'll be back each Monday with another cooking video. Talk to you guys later. Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn